Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm so excited to do this video. I've been waiting for this palette to arrive and that is the Fun Size 2 palette. This is from Sugar Pill and you guys probably know, but I have the original Fun Size palette. So I just thought it was so right for me to get the second one see how it compares. I really enjoy the first one. I think it's so pretty. I love the mattes in here. It's an all matte palette. It's really colorful, kind of a rainbow palette, but there's something kind of tweaked about it. Some of the colors are, you know, tweaked one way or the other so that they're not just simple rainbow colors, you know what I mean? And so I've definitely raved about this on my channel. I've done videos with this on my channel. And like I said, it only felt right when I saw the Fun Size 2 launch that I was gonna get it. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a demo for this look. I'm gonna be giving you kind of my first impressions and just some thoughts overall. I'm also going to be doing comparisons with these like overheads so you can really see the differences in color. So I will leave timestamps down below so you can get to where you wanna go. I'm also gonna leave my past sugar pill palettes linked in case you want to check that out with the fun size. I know I have like a four looks one palette and that's pretty good. I love that they kept them very similar. I mean I think it only makes sense since it's a second one and I just love the size of this. I love the pan size of these shadows because of how small they are and if you don't know sugar pills like singles that you can buy are quite large and that can be great if it's like all you use and you do a lot of like other stuff but for me I don't need that much shadow. I want to like get the palette, but definitely less is more for me. So I can try a lot of different stuff without having a lot of wasted product. I don't want to blab too much in this intro, but because I ordered it, I think I ordered the exact day that it came out, which when I'm filming this, it is the 11th today, I believe. So it launched on the first and um, yeah, so it took a couple of days. It took a while longer than I kind of expected since I live in California and Sugar Pill is based in California. And I really should mention this retails for $30 and it's still available on the site. I think with the first one, it sold out like immediately and then I think it did do some restocks but I don't know if it like came back fully I'm not really sure but this is still available on the site if you're interested but since I ordered on the day that it came out and online I did get the sticker sheet with it which if you guys don't know I love getting stickers with my orders because I have a whole makeup specific sticker collection I know I'm like extra as hell. <laughs> I think I have a video on that if you guys want to see it, but I have mine from the last palette when I bought it and now I have the matching set for the two. That is just something that's so geeky and like literally means nothing, but makes me too excited really for what it is. <laughs> that all being said, let's get into the overhead and like comparing these, swatching them out, seeing them a little bit more in depth. I know that's what I was most excited to kind of see about them. Like what is similar? Is anything similar? And so yeah, let's do it. All right guys, so here we are with the palettes. This is the original one and this is the second one. I already have it. It's already a little dirty. Oopsies. I've literally had it for a day. <laughs> so on the front we have the same little guy but this one he's having a drink with like boba in it. Super cute. And then the back is also the same as well. So just to show you that opening it up both of them have these like heart-shaped mirrors and it says level up your makeup. And then this is the color story. I'm trying to get it so that they don't reflect too much. You can actually see the color because that is one of the hard things. I think it's so pretty that they have that holographic, uh, you know, ring around them, but it does kind of throw off the way the colors look in a way that obviously wouldn't happen if they didn't have that. So initially looking at them, I find these ones to be a bit more cohesive in how they are. Maybe the shade continue is a little bit more grungy than the rest, but there's really nothing grungy going on with the other ones. Maybe the red is a little bit off or out of here, you know, out of place compared than the others. But overall, I find this like pretty cohesive to me, to my eyes, to how I see color. I don't know, it's not quite pastel. It's a little bit more saturated than that, but there's something about them that makes them not the full blown colors. When we move to here, um, I think it's funny because I don't consider this one that pastel, but when we look at this yellow in power up, loading, elixir, double jump, those all look very pastel. And then we have colors like player two, the three on the side here and grind that add a little bit more punch to it. Grind is pretty um, 
grungy to me. I love all three of these colors on the side, especially together, but I would say overall this palette has a little bit more depth to it as well. I think that you can get some depth with this critical hit shade, even the final boss. And although Button Mash still keeps a lot of brightness, I do think it's deeper than, you know, stuff going on in this palette. So this is just like lighter, brighter. This one to me, even with those pastels, has just a few of those shades that make it a little bit more grungy. I didn't love this color story when I saw it released. I mean, I love my original fun size, so I was interested enough in this, obviously, to buy it and also for the channel to show you guys the differences. But, you know, the color story doesn't feel 100% me. And seeing it in person, I definitely like it a lot more in person than what I saw online. Just some thoughts there. Um, but let's just get into swatching some of this. I'm gonna start off by just swatching this palette so you can see it all swatched out on my my arm and I haven't even done this yet so it'll be interesting. All right, so here we are with them all swatched out. I think this color story, like for some reason, I don't know why it looked so grungy to me, but it's not. Like looking at this, it's definitely not. Even if this is a little swampy, that's like really it. It's not a grungy color story. I don't know, I think this type of rainbow is just a little odd and that's what it translated to my brain. But swatching it out, it, it doesn't look like that. I noticed from the textures that, and I'm pretty sure the other ones like this as well, some are pressed a little bit harder and like a little bit, yeah, stiffer, where others feel a lot more creamy. So like the yellow in Power Up was pretty creamy. Um, I felt like Loading, Elixir, Final Rose, Double Jump, those all felt pretty creamy and I really like I liked the feeling of those and you'll find out later in my look like final boss I definitely noticed was creamy and elixir as well whereas shades like grind button mash um, I felt like player two a little bit and also critical hit are a little bit more firmly pressed and so I know that we're so into pigmented swatches and so I don't think that those swatch well at all. I also even found that I'm getting maybe a little bit of hard pan and grind already which honestly kind of matches up to the other one because in my other palette I have hard pan on continue and high score. So I feel like it's pretty consistent in formula honestly and I liked the other one. I don't think swatches are everything. Looking at these swatches though you can also see how close loading and player two are. I definitely don't think they were both needed in this palette and I think it's kind of a missed opportunity to put a different shade in here. There's just not enough difference to me personally like even looking at them I'm like yes this is deeper but that by how much because this one's pretty pigmented you know so uh, I don't know about that. They also did that in the last palette though so <laughs> I mean, consistency, I guess. So there we are, that's it swatched out. I'm gonna swatch out the other palette because why the heck not since we're here and I just kind of wanna get reacquainted with how those swatch. All right, so there we are. I mean, these shadows just aren't the type and they just don't wanna be finger swatched because again, some of these just get hard pan from my fingers pretty easily. Looking at this one, I mean, I am just drawn to this entire color story, probably, yeah, a bit more, but I don't think that these palettes are best used as standalone palettes, which is something that makes me really like the second one as well. But it's just so beautiful. Again, yeah, some of these are a little bit stiffer and maybe don't look like they swatch the best, but I've only had really good experiences with this palette. I freaking love the shade Continue. I think it's such an interesting yellow in my collection. I love these types of like purples and greens. This hot pink and Rage Quit is just stunning. I even love this red. It's just so warm and still kind of bright and poppy. Like, I just think it's a great palette and this is reminding me to bust it out because damn, it's beautiful. So those were the full palette swatches. Um, like I said, I do think that I overall like this full color story more than this full color story 
but I don't use these palettes as standalone palettes, so really it doesn't matter how much I love the color story if I'm only gonna be reaching for like one or two shades in the palette at a time and then pairing them with other like really beautiful duochromes or sparkly shades or whatever. So although initially I'm like looking at that, I think realistically this has some really great shades that I think I'm gonna use maybe even more so because these do vary in depths a little bit more than this palette, so that's just something. I wanna go and show you guys different colors though, swatched here on my hand between the two. So I'm gonna take Power Up, which is that yellow, and I wanna compare it to Continue. I'm gonna keep these both actually on this side. It makes it so much easier for me. I wanna put continue next to it just so you can see the difference because they're definitely different. So as you can see, the power up shade is a lot more like actually pastel. This one is way more grungy. It's kind of deepening up. I think I might have a little bit residual uh, hand lotion on my hand, so maybe that's why that's happening, but definitely different in how they are. I'm also gonna put grind on here because I feel like grind almost looks like, oh, is it close to the continue shade? That one is definitely more green. So definitely different there across the board. I don't think similar at all, even if they both have a bit of this like dirty quality to them or like swampy quality to them. Next, let's do more of these like orangey coral colors. I think that would be interesting. So this is the shade loading. This is player two. I mean, I feel like those are pretty similar. Like they're the same shade, but player two is a little deeper. And then I'm gonna just put high score next to it so you can see, can I get it? <laughs> There's some hard pan, so I'm fighting it a little, but definitely different. I think those are definitely different in color. I'm gonna swatch all these like blue, kind of purple, blue, purple, I don't know. I'm gonna swatch them all next to each other, especially 8-Bit and Elixir because I feel like they're the closest maybe. So there is Elixir. I'm getting like some good swatches here that I didn't quite get when I did them on my arm, so. That's nice. But this one is 8-bit next to it. Definitely different. One looks blue and one looks purple. But I also wanna put Final Boss next to that because I feel like they're in a similar family, but the Final Boss shade is a lot deeper. And then last, just for fun, I'm gonna do Player One, which is so much warmer of a purple. There's really no comparison. Um, but that is what they look like. So again, no dupes. Like I'm not seeing any dupes that even look like it, but I thought if you just wanted some comparisons, I would still show them even if they're not, you know, identical. There's quite a few pink shades, so I do wanna do those. This is the shade Double Jump. This is probably my favorite pink, honestly, out of all three. Well, I do love Rage Quit, um, but I love this baby pink and I think it's a really nice one, like just good coverage. Just, mm. I'm excited to use that one. But I'm gonna swatch it next to Level Up, which is a warmer pink, which I don't know. I just feel like these warmer pinks are not my favorite. Like I always go for more of a cool toned one. So Rage Quit next to it is just, it just blows it out the water. <laughs> I love this pink, like this tone of pink, everything about that kind of pink, I love. And then I'm gonna put Critical Hit, I mean, this again, doesn't look like anything, but why not put it next to it and just kind of see how it compares. I feel like between these two palettes, there's a lot of like pretty monochromatic looks that you could do where you're going from each one and I think that's kind of cool. Um, but those are the pinks. I probably should have done the pink last in hindsight, but Nonetheless, let's do the greens. It's really the only thing left for comparison. I mean, this red's just kind of standing on its own because it's red and it doesn't look like anything else. But let's do this shade Twitch first. I know I need to get in there because again, it does have some hard pan, but I don't find an issue with the hard pan actually using them on the brush. It's just, you know, for the aesthetic and nice, finger swatches makes it tough. Twitch is here, then this one is Cheat Code. Both obviously so different, they're in the same palette. But then we're gonna show Button Mash, which I think all three of these again together paired on a look would be so pretty and create something really beautiful if you wanted an all matte look, but also if you wanted to add some shimmers. And of course, I'm just gonna put Grind in, why not? I mean, so different, so yellow compared to everything else. 
Very, very different. I mean, I'm just a sucker. I think all four of these, even together as a look, it would be so good, so pretty. All right, well, I hope that those swatches and comparisons were in depth enough for you guys. Honestly, looking at it, I wanna use every shade separately. I can, I can get inspired and excited about each one of these individually, even if it's harder to do that as a collection of shadows. Whereas this one to me is definitely like, as a collection, I'm obsessed with it but maybe honestly not as much individual passion for each color. Kind of interesting. I'm super excited to have both of them, but let's just go on to the demo for the eye look in the beginning. And then I'll also give you some first impression thoughts after I do my look. So let's move on to the demo. All right, guys, let's get to this eye look. Of course, I don't know why I need to say this. I'm using the Fun Size 2 palette. <laughs> I already have a bit of a look in mind. I'm interested in this quad here. I think it has something to do with fall. I've just been into, especially like the center shade, this like purple and that green. <gasps> I'm excited for those. I might set it off with like a pink, we'll see though. Okay, so let's get started. The first shade I'm gonna take is Elixir and I'm taking a fluffy blending brush, getting that on the brush. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan, but not much. I'm gonna be blending this kind of in this top front inner portion, not like all the way into the brow, but definitely up there because I want there to be that color peeking through once we add the shimmer because I'm gonna be adding other things than just this palette. I'm not gonna be doing all matte looks because I think of these palettes as great companions with colorful mattes for you to like complete any of those other looks and to pair with other shimmers, especially in my collection, like duochromes. And to me so far, it's blending like exactly the same way as the last palette, like so far, I mean, it's one shade, but it's been going on great, easy, no fuss, no hassle. I'm like sitting here like, should I use this purple or should I use the green and then blend out with the like grimier green? I think I'm gonna go with the green and then add the purple as like my dark, dark color. Even though it's not that dark, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna take a button mash and I'm taking it on a pinched fluffy brush and I always tap off my brushes. I'm gonna be starting to lay that down in the outer corner and I am blending it into the blue that we have laid down as well. Just wanna see where we can take this color. And then as I have like less on my brush, I am kind of more gently blending out. I feel like this color's like darker than I expected. It doesn't have a brightness around the edges like I thought. I'm definitely finding with this shade, I need to like lay quite a bit down. I do have a light hand. So if you have a heavier hand, you might not have the same like problem, but it's definitely like, I wanna like pack more on and then blend out as opposed to like slowly layering and building it up. I think it's better to like pack on and then blend out. But I don't like love the blend out so far. I don't know. Going back in with the blue brush and I'm just blending no extra product on the edges just to see what happens. I feel like this side blended out a lot better. So I don't know if this side just has an issue. I think I am gonna try to put a little bit of that purple still on that outer edge. I just wanna use it, it's so pretty. So I'm using like a flat shader brush, probably not the brush, but I just wanna see and see if I can kind of get a blend where the purple's blending into that green. I really so far like the purple. I mean, I'm layering it on top of stuff, so it's not showing its full potential by itself, but it feels so creamy compared especially to that button mash on my brush. And this is all just underpainting for the shimmer I wanna put on. I really like to do the mattes first and then I can always add a little bit on top, but I feel like it just helps me get an idea of placement and all that. All right, now that I've built up the purple, I'm glad I made that decision. I wanna pop that green out from underneath it. So I'm taking that same brush we used and just refreshing it so it kinda, you can just see it pop out a little bit more. And then the same thing, I wanna do that with that blue. And so I'm just blending that in the front and into those colors. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay, I really like the way it's looking now. I definitely wanna go into some shimmers. I'm going into this palette I made, which a video is coming, so stay on the lookout. I'm like reordering how I'm filming stuff so that I can get this video up for you guys. But I'm gonna be going in, I believe, mm, it's tough, there's so many beautiful shades in here. But I think the shade Vector from uh, Glam Shop is gonna be so perfect. So. This is the shadow that's gonna go all over my lids. I'm just using my finger and I didn't put any more of like a base down. So I'm taking that, putting it on the front of my eye and then I am, as I have less, just kind of blending it up. It doesn't have much of a base. So I might add a little bit of this shade Beetlejuice in the outer corner as well, but I'm just gonna be playing back and forth between those colors to put them down on my lid, most likely with my fingers. All right, I like the way it's looking. It's kind of one noted as in like, it's either the blue, kind of that cooler green or the purple. And I wanna like, I don't know, do something. So I'm gonna add this grind shade to the outer portion of the upper, like up here. I don't know, I just want something that pops it. I would have maybe put like a pink in this inner corner just to like add contrast, add something, but I already put the blue there, so I'm trying this green because it's a little bit warmer than everything else. And I was hoping that by putting it just on this outer blending edge and then putting over maybe like some type of shimmer, we could get something interesting. For the lower lash line on the inner part, I'm gonna use this pencil called Inchworm, which I use quite a bit. It's like a lime green. I just wanna bring something kind of electric to this look. I just want, yeah, something. For the actual inner corner, I'm using this really pretty shade. This is from Glam Shop also, but I don't have the name on me, so I will make sure to have it down below. And that's going in the inner corner. And I'm also going to be putting it over, just tapping that green shade. And I'm not covering it with the like kind of acidy green in this palette because this is a little too dark. I know from using it on the top, it's not gonna be as bright as I want it. And then for that outer corner on the lower lash line, I'm going in with the uh, button mash and I wanna bring that like teal back in. So I'm just going to be blending that into the green and then blending it up. And then I do wanna put a little bit of that Beetlejuice shade, which I ended up layering a bit of on the outer corner, just in the very outer corner on the lower lash line. I've really been enjoying shimmers like smoked out on the lower lash line lately. I think the last thing I wanna do is add a little brow bone highlight because why not add more shimmer? Why not? This might be a mistake, but I'm gonna go with Glow from Cleona. All right, I'm gonna go add some mascara and I'll show you guys the final look. All right guys, so here is the finished look. I'll zoom you in. I think that blue in the front really punches it in and I love the tiny bit of green kind of playing off on the edge here with the purple and then that inner corner. I think that's nice. I do kind of wish, just like if I could go back in time, I think it would have been fun to add like something like this, like a, you know, orange in here to contrast or the pink to just do something a little, not all kind of on the same side or like blending into each other on the color spectrum, but that's just me and my preferences. I really like too how that like shimmer over it looks. I don't know, I like it, it's pretty. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing my little tutorial on here. I thought I would leave you off with some first impression like thoughts and whatnot and kind of what I think going forward. So. For the elixir shade, that blue, I really love the way that it, it went on. I did find with like all of these, they kind of went on a little bit darker than I expected and, and they didn't have like a brightness, at least with elixir, button mash, and grind. I thought maybe there would be this kind of brightness behind them, but I don't know. I, this is also a super preference because I do like lighter, brighter shades as opposed to darker shades. And so for me, I just found like blending them out, I was like having to recalibrate like, oh, that's darker than I thought. Um, so. So just something not what I was expecting going in and doing it for the first time and using them. I really love the shade Grind. I really love the shade Elixir though. Like I can see myself using both of those a lot, especially too for like 
simpler looks and just using those on the outer corner and then doing like a light shimmery similar shade like monochromatic all shimmer but having that basic color down looks. I love the color button mash but I did find I had to build it up a lot. It didn't feel as creamy to me um, on my brush. I don't know it just took a little bit of time to layer up and you know blending out I think it worked out great in the end product but just on its own the only color I do feel like I had to work a little bit more with that than I maybe would want to it still definitely works but it's just something to note the final boss shade was really creamy and this one actually had this like beautiful brightness to it although I expected this one to be darker because of the color in the pan I thought it layered really nicely over the green so I was really happy about that like I went straight over a shadow I'd already laid down and it went over beautifully so and I found it blended really nice so I was really happy with that color I can't wait to test the rest of them like all of these I could do a similar eye look but like the pink and orange version of it I have high hopes and I think that they're gonna work pretty nicely I'm also excited to like I've said kind of contrast colors together. I like doing pairings, so like pairing this pink with the blue would be really pretty, or pairing this like orange with button mash would be super pretty, things like that. So, so far, pretty happy with it. I need to still use button mash and, you know, keep getting my thoughts on it, but first impressions, maybe that one wasn't the best. I think one of the things I was surprised on, I wanted the original palette the moment that it launched, the moment that it came out, and I think it's so pretty. I do really love the colors that are in here. I just felt like they went together nicely and all that. This one, I felt like when I looked at it initially, like seeing pictures online, I didn't love the colors altogether. It kind of felt like it's rainbow but kind of off in a bad way like grungy but then it has like that baby blue and the baby pink so I'm just like what's going on but getting it in person I was like oh this is way prettier so I was really happy about that like when I opened it I was like oh why was I like kind of weirded out by this color so it's actually really pretty so I was very uh stoked about that because I think off of initial picture I was excited to see it and a little let down but I ultimately ended up ordering it so fast because I knew I wanted to do a video comparing the two. My haste wasn't simply because I was like, oh my gosh, that color story is so pretty. But having it in person, I feel like it's prettier than I expected it to be. But so far so good. I think it's going to be a nice addition to my collection. I don't normally love mattes, but I think it works for this because like I've told you, the one time I'm interested in mattes is when they're colorful mattes and that's all this is. It's like all color right here. And so for me, this pairs so nicely with so many of my duochromes and just helps me kind of finish out some looks create something really special and I do find that the colors in here are quite unique and I have quite a few shadows but to me these are unique colorful matte shades so I am excited to keep using it I'll keep you guys updated in some type of video as I move past first impressions I hope that my comparisons were somehow helpful and even that my first impressions can maybe give you a little peace of mind if you were thinking about ordering it but just wanted to know to me this feels very similar to the first formula but um yeah that's where I'm at with that so far I hope you guys enjoyed. I'd love to know if you're going to pick this palette up or not. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.